Hello, how you doing? This is Vince Hughes with Still Estimating Solutions. Uh, this will be the fifth video in the video series of the Still Direction Digital Takeoff process. Uh, this video here, like I say, will be the fifth one, and it's just simply doing the takeoff. Let's jump into e takeoff real quick. And I'm, I'm going to go through abbreviated takeoff, basically go to do some different tasks, just kind of showing you the concept of the takeoff in a digital takeoff program. Uh, this one, this takeoff software we're looking at right now is eTakeoff, has become fast, became one of my favorite takeoff softwares. Uh, but just to jump right in there, let me just zoom in a little. And like I say, I'm not going to do a full takeoff, I'm just going to give a basic idea. Uh, with what still SMA solutions offer and the plug-in that we went over in the last uh, video how still SMA solutions can get you doing a digital takeoff day one we talked about the plug-in that I supply you when you come on board with the still erection bid wizard which makes this process very simple because we have right at 300 tasks here on the left hand side that we as erectors install and so basically to jump in and start doing a takeoff it's just a matter Myself, I like to start doing the columns first. So I'm just going to click, click on erect average columns. I need to select the length of the columns. These columns are 30 foot. I just double click and simply come to the drawing and count all the columns. And as I say, I'm not going to go through the whole whole process of it, as I don't want to uh, don't want to make this video super long. But basically, I'm just going to grab half this drawing. And so then we go through and count the the columns. And in an upcoming video, a uh, time tape. Uh, Time saving tip number one, I'm going to talk about doing using auto count, which will definitely uh, speed up the process as well as uh, showing, showing you how to use the copy and paste feature, which makes the takeoff so much faster. But so basically I'm going to go through, count the columns, and then I would jump up to beams. Go to standard beams. I'm looking for some 16 to 21s. Just come through there real quick count all the 16s w16s of course this is an erection takeoff so I'm wanting as a piece count and as I mentioned the auto count will speed this process up tremendously but right now this video is on doing the takeoff so we'll just run through here real quick and and count them all manually then I go to the next one, W10s. Grab all those. Sixteen to twenty one. And in this next video, like I say on the using the copy and paste feature or the auto count taking these beams off would be I mean super super fast and so now we got the the beams taken off looks like we got a couple moments there, moment welds right there so I'm just gonna go to moment welds which is inside of the connect category I look at the it's 22 pounds per foot so I'm gonna go 0 to 29 take both of those off And then the next thing would be after I counted all my columns, all my beams, bar joists, if they were there, I do have some little channels there. I'm just going to take off as a beam real quick. Because if it sets like a beam, I take it off as a beam for the production rates that are in the still erection bid wizard. And then we do have a couple columns there. We'll have to go to the detail to see what those outside columns are in a moment, but 
So then once I do that, then it's time to go to uh, the details. And we're just going to take a peek at this 9 on 301. So I come to the name view, show view in a new extra drawing window. Of course, this dr second drawing window would be on my second screen. But you wouldn't be able to see this, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it inside of here so you can see it. What do we got here? Some light gear purlins, a tube still for the wind girt, and a bent plate quarter, a 10 and quarter. So that's going to be a, a heavy bent plate right there. I'll come back later and get the purlins. And then this wind girt. I know there's another detail showing a little bit more work to that wind girt. So I'm going to go to that in a moment. So let me drag this out of here. Come down to angle. Heavy top of steel. Click on one end, click on the other. And then I'll have to go to the other details to see if that angle changes sides on the different ones. And then that's what I do for. Take it off print ringo, you all see how quick that is. Just click, click. And then once I finish that takeoff, I'm gonna come, click there, click there, and now that highlights that in yellow. And then I'm just gonna jump down to another detail down here, just so you kind of see how I do this one, this takeoff here. Uh, seven on 302, so let me pull this over. Do the drop down, go to S302, zoom in to number seven. And here we're gonna see we got a little column of an HSS seven by five at the top. We've got a primer angle that's uh, it's only it's uh, four by four, a quarter inch by four and a half. It doesn't say that long leg, but that is a heavy angle. We got two kickers and two wedges. So in that case, what I'm going to do right here, let me pull that out of there. I'm going to take the column off as a column, 10 foot. I'm going to do one click here because it, it's on these columns right here. So I'm going to click one here. And then I had two kickers. And I had two wedge anchors. And so then I have that angle, that heavy uh, top of steel angle. So I'll click there. Now what I want to show you what I'm going to do just I'm going to show you the copy and paste feature in a separate video once again trying to make these videos as short as possible uh, but what I'm going to do now is just so you're aware you have the ability to do this and you take off which I think is really cool beans all that goes to this detail I'm going to highlight all of it and I'm going to come right here to work breakdown and I'm going to type in 7S302. And what that does, it's going to tie. So when in my report, I will see if I choose to, if I want to be, you know, anal about it and know exactly what every detail condition and, you know, what task is going to that detail. I can come in, highlight the, the detail I took off, put it into the work breakdown area. And that way it's going to carry that task into my report so I know that these items go to that detail. Which I think is a pretty cool feature if you're trying to keep track of stuff like that on your details. And so basically you're going to come around. Of course that's going at different places. But in another video I'm going to show you how you handle that. But I'm going to go ahead and say detail complete on that. Even though I do have to do some more takeoff because that's happening at these columns that's going around the perimeter. And then the last takeoff, I mean because it's all pretty much doing count. Linear foot and uh, square foot so to take off the decking on this project what I like about you know a digital takeoff program it doesn't matter the size of the the shape of the structure we can get just outlined the perimeter of this building 
and we're going to get an exact square footage of that deck. And granted, I'm not done with my takeoff here, but once again, I'm trying to keep the video as short as I can. So that takes off the square footage. Now we see we have 14,000 square feet right here. Here's showing all my what I've got taken off so far. And one thing about stairways, I'm, I'm just going to kind of touch on the stairways real quick, show you how I take those off. I would typically do that on the architectural drawing, but I can also do it here. And so it's just a matter to take off those stairways, select the flight I want. Grab a, the landing. Looks like we got two landings on this one. And then the handrail. But my, uh, my preference is to do these on the architectural drawings because that way it's visual. Makes it real easy to see. So there, there, there's the uh, the stairways taken off, the handrail. And you're just going to go through the drawing. I mean, just count everything that's there. And once you're done, I always tip myself. I do the decking as the last takeoff on the page. That way I know I'm complete with that page. And then you just jump into the next page. So really, that's just a quick overview of how to do the takeoff in a digital takeoff program using still, still has many solutions, uh, plugins for the different takeoff softwares. Or for the yeah the day, different takeoff programs, uh, pretty simple process right out of the box. You already have all these tasks already built. You upload the drawings, click on it, take it off, export it out, send that report in the Still Erection Bid Wizard, and you have your prize for erection based on your wage rates and your equipment rates. Uh, really doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. The next uh, video coming up in the series is going to be uh, the step four, setting up areas and floors, which basically how do you set up, do the takeoff, and label it by floor so your takeoff can be priced by, or your, you know, your project can be priced by floor. I appreciate your time. Have a, have a great day. Take care.